the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Mm-hmm. Or at least be used by the enemy. Be used by the enemy, right? Natural plane, on the natural plane, this is what different scriptures trying to teach over. It said the natural man cannot receive the things of the spirit, neither can he know them. Mm-hmm. What Pete, you know, Peter reminds me of what uh, what Jews said about about uh, those ungodly men. Okay, okay. They they are speaking things which they only know naturally. Oh, okay. Brute beast. Yeah. Yeah. So, before we get saved, before we're enlightened by the Spirit of God, before we're pulled into this one, okay, what we can understand and know about Jesus and His purpose and His mission is in the dark to us. Hmm. So we're left to reason on the natural plane. Okay. Okay. It's enough to reason in the realm of the natural. Uh-huh. And that is exactly why when we get saved, I've been looking at this morning, I've been going back to the book of Jude. I kind of finished up my outline this morning. I've been going back to the book of Jude and I realized, you know, in Jude, the whole focus is, the whole focus of Jude uh-huh. is in verse 4. Well, he tells us, that there are some ungodly men that have crept into your midst unaware. Wow. And then he spends the rest of the entire chapter, basically 16 verses, is spent telling them, identifying the conduct and behavior of these godly men, ungodly men, uh-huh. to warn you. Apparently, they to warn you because. He gets down, I think, to verse 20 and says, but but you, but with you it shall not be so. But ye beloved, not you. Now I start talking to you from verse 4 all the way down to verse number 20. And what I've been telling you is about these men. Uh-huh. I've been thinking about their conduct, about their behavior, how they talk, what they, they are, so that you can understand that you. Ought not be like them because basically what he's saying to them is he used these young godly men to show you that they've departed, that they've apostatized, that they've left their, like the angels, they've left their ordained estate. Like uh-huh. the more they departed from that which God had ordained for them. They've gone after strange flesh. When God had not ordained for men to be with men and women to be with women, they've departed mm-hmm. and they're using the grace of God, he said, as a license. Wow. For no restraint, just to be able to do whatever their lust led them to do. Whether it was in speaking or in any kind of conduct or behavior, they didn't begin to describe them. They're like, they're like, uh, he got a whole list of things that he called them. They're like trees whose fruit have withered. They're like wandering stars. They're like spots. They're like trees twice dead, plucked up by the root. Yeah. All waves that waves of the sea that foam up their shame. He's trying to paint this picture of them so they, they, they describe them in such a way that they can clearly identify them through their behavior and their conduct so that they can know this ain't how you ought to be behaving. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So uh, one, of the, one of the verses that really kind of caught my attention was, uh, was verse number where he called them Verse number 10. Uh-huh. We're talking about that reasoning thing. So verse number 10, he says, But these speak evil of those things which they know not. Okay. Or what they know naturally. Naturally, yes. That's Peter right there. Yeah. 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 That's Peter right there. He, he, he only could speak about what he knew naturally, but then do call them as brute beasts. So, so, you know, on that plane, uh, I think Isaiah said that God declared that my thoughts are not your thoughts. Yes, sir. Yeah. My way is not your ways. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
and not the word. Now, as far as the mission of is concerned, Jesus has been sent into the world for this very purpose. Woo. He he been sent into the world. He tells them up. He said, "Look, except the grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, abides alone." Yes, sir. But if it died, bring forth more fruit. In <laughs> other words, it ain't really in your benefit for me to stay here with you. I know you like having me with you. I know yes. you've enjoyed it, but that's a flesh response. Right. But God has purpose never God never purposed me to just be with you, except for a short period. Right. By being with you was to be able to later on to be in you. Come on. Woo. If, if yeah. you know the one I was getting out of that picture too was the fact is that we have we have the natural default for man is to go cardinality. It, it's, it's our default mechanism. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, coming into the body of Christ, we, we are automatically still in the default mode. Until we're yeah. ready to, to move on into the, you know, I hear from God. If not, I'm hearing from my intellect. And I'm going to use my intellect as my guiding principle until I become more spiritual level thinking opposed to my natural way of thinking. And it, it's a strange kind of thing because this, I think, is what happens when you are not discipled rightly. Mm. You see, the same brain, the same capacity for thought and reason, yeah, what now going to be captured by the Spirit of God and lifted up out of the natural onto a plane of the divine, the Spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You follow me? Yeah. Yeah. You see, you see, the Spirit of God has to take hold. He has to be able to have a way into your thought into your thinking, into your reflection, into your meditation, into what goes on in your head, to be able now to begin to have a, a place of directing and inspiring and leading you so that now he takes you up out of the natural into the into the realm of what God is. Hmm. So that now, that same thing you were looking at earlier saying, don't go, now you cry out, hurry up, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> now, now, you, now you need to usher over. Look here. Look here. It's been good having you here with me. But I see something now far greater. I, I see that God has purpose for you to have a deeper intimacy, a deeper connection, so that now I can be one with you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But see, you can't say, I don't think, listen now, there is a degree of one that can happen in the flesh, but, it can't, but that can't happen in the spirit, though. Come on now. Come on. You know, it's funny because it, when you think about it, is remember he was just just a back up a little bit. Is remember he even told Peter, Satan is trying to sift you like wheat. And and Bishop, one of the things interesting I thought he said is, when you get right, strengthen the brother. Right. In other words, if there was, if why would he tell him to strengthen the brother, unless they also we're also almost in that same uh, predicament of Satan trying to sift you like wheat. Because I'm trying to say, are we all natural? You see what I'm saying? If Peter's not the only, we may single out Peter, but that probably applied to every last one of them, didn't it? Well, think about it now. In, in, in the state that Peter's in, he ain't got to sift very far. Ooh. Right. I mean, listen now, this is before, this is actually before Jesus has been resurrected, has ascended, been exalted, have received, and then Peter, and then Australia. It is Peter who preached this message on the day of Pentecost. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is the same Peter that talks about, listen, he needed to have gone back to the Father, been exalted to the right hand. Receive the gift of the Holy Spirit and pour it out. Woo! That's what we really needed. We didn't really we, listen. We didn't need him to stay here with us. We need him to go back. Uh huh. No, no. But the very part of the kingdom, the foundation of the kingdom, could be established, which is Christ in you. 
Yes, sir. The whole folklore. <laughs> that, that's right. 